Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, today I'm showing you guys how to get the hammered achievement. Now there's lots of ways to get this. Uh, easiest way probably is uh, you need to make an undead character and give them 12 strength and 1 in telekinesis and back on the tutorial boat. Uh, you remember that room with the three death fog barrels in it that the tentacles smash through the wall and destroy? Uh, if you're quick enough of an undead character, you can run in that room and grab one of the death fog barrels. And then to get the hammered achievement, you either need to damage Dallas or Alexander. I'd say the easier way to do it though is literally just kill Alexander and then Dallas fucks off. Um, and yeah, so if you have the death fog bar barrel, it's a piece of piss. Just use the gloves of teleportation, teleport the death fog barrel right on top of Alexander and destroy it and it'll kill him. Uh, but because I didn't do that on this campaign, uh, the other way of doing it uh, I'll switch to my other character to show you the crate quickly. I basically went around and picked up every single box and heavy item in all of Fort Joy and weighs 3,113. Uh, oh, I need to drop that again. Um, and yeah, my character here has 16 strength and telekinesis so I can move this really heavy box around. And then if I go to Red Prince using the gloves of teleportation teleport Alexander up here uh, just so you can see I quickly barricaded off all the ladders and everything and all the way over here barricaded that way off even though they never walk around that way to get up to you um, and yeah you teleport Alexander up here and you can just kill him straight away with the chest uh, but bear in mind though once you kill Alexander and Dallas disappears you still have to kill those two level 8 geists and the four magisters and the max level you can get to inside of Fort Joy is level 6 and if you leave Fort Joy they disappear and you can't get the achievement annoyingly ah oh, why is it Red Prince is... oh no wait that's why he's in stealth <laughs> that's why I did that and then yeah just move the really heavy crate of telekinesis get it as close to him as you can and it seems to work better if you put it behind them and you need to move it through them as well Go on, let me place it. There we go. Alright, so that hit Alexander. He's on zero health. Um, I'll just... Oh, he is in combat. Cool. Go back to Red Prince. Yeah, so now when it gets around to Alexander's go, he'll die. And Dallas will... Uh, well, you'll see what Dallas will do. Um, actually, I'm going to move away from the edge because those guys teleport up here and try to kill you really badly. Let's just move there throw a rock over at him. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bother actually recording the battle. Um, I don't know if I want to do it again because when I did the battle the first time I'll just let this play out before I say something. Yeah, so Alexander's dead, Dallas has fucked off, she's dropped a hammer. I've already got the hammered achievement, otherwise it would have popped up just then when Dallas disappears as a dragon. Uh, I think I'll end the recording in a second, because doing this whole battle, when I did this the first time to get the achievement and I wanted to keep the, the playthrough with getting the achievement, fighting all of these guys at level 6, just with my two guys on Lone Wolf Tactical, in total my characters died seven times so need a lot of resurrection scrolls if you're going to do this on tactical but um, I'll just leave it there so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed feel free to like comment and subscribe